Hello. So in Matthew 6, 33, it says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the rest will be added unto you. So what does it mean for us in this day and age to seek first the kingdom of God? Well, for me recently, there's been lots of other things going on. There's lots of distractions. I have uh, currently four people at home with COVID. Um, the fifth one has uh, finished COVID and I'm the only one left um, who hasn't caught it so far. And um, maybe that will be something that I will have to um, cope with in the near future. But how do I, in this situation, seek first the kingdom of God when there's so much other stuff happening in our house? In fact, um, the lovely David Aberdeen described it as being a bit like a hotel uh, where people are just coming in and going out and asking for things and expecting things. And I think that kind of summarises uh, what it's a bit like sometimes. Um, but how do we seek the kingdom of God when life around us is crazy? Well, I think it has to start by putting some uh, thought into it to actually stopping and saying, you know, today I'm going to seek the kingdom of God. Today I'm going to ask God to add to me those things uh, that he wants to add to me. And also it means that I'm going to put down some of the things um, that I need to as well. And so today I urge you to seek the kingdom. Just try in perhaps one thing that you do rather than... Um, doing whatever you're going to do, think this, in this moment, I'm going to seek first the kingdom of God, whether it be spending money or what you're eating or drinking or how you're spending your time or uh, what you're going to do. Maybe just sp try spending five minutes seeking the kingdom of God. I'm going to do that now for five minutes and I'll uh, catch you up on uh, what happened. So I just did five minutes. Um, I set a little alarm and just sat still for five minutes um, to try and seek the, the kingdom of God, seeking first the kingdom of God. And it was really interesting. Uh, there were three things I noticed. The first was when I sat there quietly with my eyes closed, I felt a real need for God and a real need for this peace. Uh, the second uh, was um, an awareness of myself and of what was going on around me and um, the kind of conflicting voices in my head, uh, but also of the kind of desperation that I had to meet with God. And the third thing then was a sense of peace um, and of God's peace and just allowing myself to breathe um, and think through for a second. Uh, and of course, uh, you might have worked out that that's a need um, and awareness and peace all makes nap which uh, it did feel just as revitalizing as a little nap. Uh, so I can really recommend um, just in your own way and in your own time, trying to seek uh, God's presence and seek his kingdom um, just in, in a small way like this. Um, anyway, let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you say that you will add to us and give us what we need when we seek your kingdom first. So I pray that each one of us today uh, would be able to seek your kingdom and into the future. In Jesus' name. Amen.